<laughs> All right, good people. This is Clay Dawson with Before and After Detail. Uh, we're gonna do something a little crazy today. Uh, we... a predator generator. Now this is brand spanking new. Um, the last one we had. We had a little issue with it. It somehow got a little pinhole in the gas tank. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about this thing right here. On the new Predators, they have a carbon monoxide sensor and it'll shut the generator off. So the last one that I had, um, one even 90 days old, it would continuously cut off. I mean, even though it's in open air, it would keep cutting off. So if you're this is the carbon monoxide sensor right up under the um the pool right there so this video is going to be a quick video to show you how to bypass it so you don't have that issue where it continues to cut off even though it's in fresh air now bypassing it i don't recommend it you need this carbon monoxide filter because it is a safety function but for what I'm doing, we do automotive detailing, we out in the field, you know, we don't really have a need for it. The old generators did not have this function on it, but this is something that new generators have. So good safety function, so if you don't have to bypass it, don't do it. So here we go, we're gonna get into this video. Right here in the front, in the panel, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight millimeters, you gotta take these off. This is going to reveal the sensor. This is the sensor right here that we are going to bypass. This is a brand new generator. We have not even cut this bad boy on yet. However, I don't want to run into the same issue I had with the last one. And you, in the middle of work and it cuts off. It's aggravating as hell. So we're going to take this off. So we got six more eight millimeter bolts that we are going to take off. And that is, again, it's behind the panel. So we got these bolts here. Come on, hold that bad man. I'm gonna take these out. Oh, sorry folks. Seven millimeter. Seven, let me get my seven. So it's not hard to do is just make sure you bypass the right wires, that's all. It's pretty simple. So once you get those, you can separate the, uh, these washers are probably going to fall out too. So don't forget to get your washers when you separate this panel because this front panel is going to come apart. And as you can see, washers are falling off. So you want to make sure you grab your washers so you can put them back. Okay. 
also what I'm gonna do, just give me a little bit more working room. This um, housing, I just wanna kind of slide that through, just like that. Just so I can pull the, the board out. Now this is gonna be the wire. So the sensor is here. And these are the wires coming off of the sensor. So you got three sets of wires. Got some rainbow colors, a red, yellow, green, blue. We're not gonna mess with that. The tan, we're not gonna mess with that. But this one goes to the sensor. Well, the, um, this one goes to the start, the, the on off button. So this is the one that we're gonna bypass. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this, all right? So this is just going back to the sensor, so it don't matter. But this is what we're gonna have to cut. And I like to use this type of connector. So part of it's gonna screw in there, and then you're gonna tighten it back down. Then the other part is gonna screw in there, and you're gonna tighten it down. So I'm gonna set that right there for right now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off. All right. Then we wanna get some wire exposed. Course, you know, twist your wires up like such. Take your little so that's going to go in like that, stick that side in. Screw it down nice, send it nice and secure. Then the other side, you expose a little slit. Stick this side in there. chop this wire down just a smidgen. A little bit too long. I don't want it to stick out the other end. So by if you're using this type of connector, get that wire by yay long. Just enough so you can stick it in there and expose it to the the lead inside. Then you're gonna tighten it down. Good and secure. And that's your bypass. Boom. Once you get this done, you will not have to worry about this generator cutting off for no reason in open air. So, just in reverse, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this back through. Pull that wire back through with that little bushing that's in place. And we're just gonna line up our six Seven millimeter. That side. Just like that. 
so your screws are back up. Don't forget to put your washers back as you go. big fingers like mine, this thing is not your friend. So, I want to show you something. You got to be careful with these generators too. I know this is kind of off the subject, but you see that bracket? So the last one that we just turned back in, we did a even swap because it wasn't even 90 days we had it. But for some reason, see how this side is super close? And this is the muffler side. That bracket is super close. So I'm probably going to try to adjust that because it's like right on the gas tank. And it developed a hole right there and then gas was running down right on top of the muffler. So, uh, that's a danger zone, too dangerous for me. So, you know, we had to swap it out. They did it even swap because it's less than 90 days, but you gotta watch that. See, like this side has a nice little gap. That side has a nice little gap. But when you get to this side, this one here got a really good gap, if you can kind of see it. but. That backside, for some reason, this backside is super close to the um, to the gas tank. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. We're gonna make some type of adjustment so we don't have the same problem again. But so remember, this is the sensor. We bypassed it. You know, we didn't mess with any of the other wires because it's not needed. That black and white wire goes directly to this. So, and that's what cuts the uh, generator off. It sends a signal to it. So on the last generator, we did a bunch of tests with the other wires that I had showed you. And we spliced those and we made a jump and it didn't um, stop it from cutting off. But we did figure out that the black and white wire is the wire that you need to splice and do the jump like I did. So if you do it exactly like I showed in this video, you will not have a problem. If you do have a problem, you can send me a message and tell me off, but I can guarantee you ain't gonna have a problem. Cause I've done it and we've been running it and it has not cut off. But boy, I'm telling you, when it was cutting off, it was aggravating. We'd be in the middle of work and boom, the sucker would cut right off. Would not cut back on, that light would keep flashing. But that's how you bypass it. But again, it is a safety mechanism and don't do it. 
I don't recommend doing it. I'm doing it, you know what I'm saying, for my use of this generator, but I don't recommend you doing it if it's like around your home or something like that. Um, it is a safety mechanism. It's there for a purpose. But it does, it's very sensitive, so you just gotta pay attention to it. So just reinstall your four eight millimeter bolts, put your board back up. And folks, that is pretty much how you bypass on the 9000 Predator from Harbor Freight 2. If you do that bypass like I showed you, this generator will keep running, it won't cut off on you, you have much success with it. Alright, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace out.